So, I guess if you're here, you like stories, hmm? Well, I think I have one that you'll like. So, if you could just take a seat, we'll get started. Good. Okay. Um, before we start, I just have one question for you. Do you believe in magic? That's okay. Not everyone does. It's really you know, though. It's one of the most pure and important things in this world. And it's very much real. And I guess, I hope story I'm about to tell you will make you a believer. That's how it stays alive, you know, believers. This story has converted quite a few, and I, I think I can win you over, persuade you onto the side of magic. You ready to begin? Good, okay. Here we go. The circus arrives without warning. No announcements preceded. No paper notices on downtown posts and billboards. No mentions or advertisements in local newspapers. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. The towering tents are striped white and black. No golds or crimsons to be seen. No color at all save for the neighboring trees and the grass that surround of the surrounding fields. The black and white stripes on gray sky countless tents of varying shapes and sizes, with an elaborate wrought iron fence encasing them in a colorless world. Even what little ground is visible from the outside is black and white, or painted or powdered in some way, treated to, um, some circus trick. But it is not open for business. Not just yet. Within hours, everyone in town has heard about it. By afternoon, the news has spread several towns over. Word of mouth is a very effective method of advertisement than ty um, typist word and exclamation posts on paper pamphlets or posters. It is impressive the end unusual news, the sudden appearance of a mysterious circus. People marvel at the staggering heights of the tallest tow tents. They stare at the clock that sits inside the gates that no one can properly describe, and the black sign painted on in white letters that hangs from the gates, one that reads, opens at nightfall, closes at dawn. What kind of circus is only open at night, people ask. No one now has the proper answer yet. As dusk approaches, there's a substantial crowd of spectators gathering outside the gates. You are amongst them, of course. Your curiosity got the best of you, as curiosity is wont to do. You stand in the fading light, with a scarf around your neck pulled against the chilly evening breeze, waiting to see for yourself exactly what kind of circus opens once the sun sets. The ticket booth is clearly visible behind the gates. The tents are still, save for when they ripple ever so slightly in the wind. The only movement within the circus is the clock that ticks by the passing minutes, if such a wonder of sculpture could ever be called a clock. The circus looks abandoned and empty, but you think perhaps you can smell caramel wafting through the evening breeze beneath the crisp scent of autumn leaves, a subtle sweetness that edges the cold. The sun disappears completely beyond the horizon, and the remaining luma Luminosity shifts from dusk to twilight. People around you are growing restless from waiting, a sea of shuffling, feet murmuring about abandoning the endeavor in search of some place warmer to pass the evening. You yourself are debating departing when it happens. First, there's a popping sound. It is barely audible over the wind and conversation. A soft noise like a kettle about to boil for tea. Then comes the light. All over the tents, small lights begin to flicker, as though the entirety of the surface is covered in particularly bright fireflies. The waiting crowd quiets as it watches this display of illumination. Someone near you gasps. A child claps his hands with glee at the sight. And the tents are all aglow, sparkling against the night sky. The sign appears. 
stretched across the top of the gates, hidden in a curl of iron, where firefly lights, lights appear, flicker to life. They pop as they brighten, some accompanied by a shower of glowing white sparks and a bit of smoke. People nearest to the gates take a few steps back. At first, it is only a random pattern of lights. But as more of them ignite, it becomes clear that they are aligned in scripted letters. First, a C distinguishable, followed by more letters. A Q, oddly enough, several E's. When the final bulb pops a light, the smoke and sparks dissipate, and it is finally legible. This elaborate incandescent sign. Lean to your left to gain a better view, you can see that the sign reads, Le Cirque des Rêves. Some in the crowd smile knowingly, while others frown and look questionably at their neighbors. A child near you tugs at her mother's sleeve, begging to know what the sign says. The circus of dreams comes the reply, and the girl smiles delightedly. Then the iron gates shudder and unlock, seemingly by their own volition. They swing onward, inviting the crowd inside. Now the circus is open. Now you may enter.